Well, I've been away for most of January. I wonder what I've missed. Oh, uh, what the f- One, two, one, two, three, four! Wait, you don't take- Twenty twenty four started off with a banger, and by that I mean banging my head against the wall, cause I was sick in bed, so everything's now a blur to me. There have been quite a few events in Genshin, some of which I unfortunately participated in, but don't worry, I now have two mini sealies, and that's all that matters. Local crackhead streamer asked his community a question no one wanted to hear. Chat, Thunder Manifestation, smash or pass? Why did I say that? I didn't say that. To which the answer is obvious if you know what I mean. Genshin Impact released a song called Bronze to commemorate their collaboration with the Sanqing Dui Museum. That's definitely not how you pronounce that. Here's Farina doing the Lethal Company dance for an hour, proving how she is indeed a great, great asset to Fonte- Utao! They also had an Asia TCG tournament, which was an actual streamed event that I totally watched. The players also had heart rate monitors for some reason. And I do hope they had an ambulance on standby, cause he do be exercising that brain of his. A dish video went viral after she found out that weapon designs only change once while ascending them, to which some people thought, Wait, the weapon designs change? I finally picked up that one Hydroculus that everyone hates. The 4.4 special program has aired, and before I get to the big stink at a certain timestamp, you know the one. I gotta talk about the rest of the update first. We got a free 4 star character, we got a new boss, we got a new area, we got a new artifact loadout feature that turns out isn't actually a loadout feature, we got new skins, and we got new characters. Shen Yun, who's better known as the Cloud Retainer, and Gaming, which is probably the second best name in a Hoyoverse game right after Dr. L plus Ratio. I mean, Hoyo must have known what they were doing when they decided to go with this name, right? And yes, I know it's probably pronounced Gaming or something like that. I don't know, I didn't actually check. But I can assure you, with 100% certainty, his name is Gaming now. Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar and Genshin Impact's anniversary was yesterday. As you might have probably heard, it ended up being a bit of a disaster. You wanna see me do it again? On the flip side, Hoyoverse decided Halloween has come early, dressed up as the genie from Aladdin and said, rub your credit card and I'll grant you three wishes which caused oh, the entire shit. community to implode. Getting clowned in the live chat, getting clowned in the comments, they've lost a stupid amount of followers on Doyen, they got review bombed on the Billy Billy app store, which, by the way, I'm actually late to, the ratings dropped lower than this. Xiox makes a meme tweet that'll definitely make people laugh. <coughs> people are saying that some Chinese players are even unfollowing companies who've collabed with Genshin, don't quote me on that. Hashtag boycott Genshin is making its rounds on Twitter, which I'm sure will totally work out. Turns out that Genshin and its community have actually been one guide this entire time. Articles, articles, articles. Everyone and their mom has made a video about it. In fighting, out fighting, actual fighting. Wait, no, I don't think anyone's been punched. Yet. I'm getting the return YouTube dislike extension just because I'm curious about the numbers, and the Honkai Star L 2.0 special program was such a kick in the balls that even Venti said ouch. In other news, I came back and 36 starred the Abyss on my first try, which either means A, this Abyss was easier and I got lucky, or B, I'm getting better at the game. Speaking of Spiral Abyss, my local dealer realized he'd been exporting his YouTube videos at a comically low bitrate for the past three years, which made his Abyss footage look like something out of a JAV. In the 4.4 update details over on Hoyolab, there's this interesting part that some people may have missed. No, not you. They've now made it easier to get commission-related achievements. That's right, gone yes, are the days yes, when you yes. waited two years to get a stupid commission, only to now be no, getting Is no, This Novel Amazing no. for the third day in a row, God help me. Are you Here's how Zhang Yun sneezes in English. And here's how she sneezes in Japanese. You weeb. Hey, Sanus Genshin streamer is going schizo, don't worry, How's it's going? just another Thursday. Hey man. How's it going? Oh, I'm good, man. How about you? Hey man. We are now at the end of January, and the 4.4 update has dropped, which not only includes the maintenance compensation, but also a compensation for a bug no one knew existed, and no one will know exists, because all of us just said, hey, free primos, and clicked claim all, delete all. Anyway, the month is over, moving on to fe- It's literally two hours before it turns to February. I'm going to bed.
Someone asked on the unofficial Genshin subreddit which nation would have the biggest geographical advantage in a war. Which sounds like a cool video idea, by the way. And I agree with this guy, my bet's on Fontaine. I would have picked Inazuma since they're so far removed from anything that it'd be impossible to attack them, but I'm pretty sure they're oblivious to whatever's happening in the rest of the world. Racist European plunges endangered lizard species to death. Remove the lizard and you basically get the whole of Mondstadt. Wait, now that I think about it, remove European and endangered as well and you get Sumerian. As well as a post-Brexit Britain. We find out that Shen Yun is actually a finalist in the 100 meter dash, which makes it a pretty compelling reason why I should pull her. Gamer? Yet another compensation, this time Ganyu's new drip drip so hard that her riveting gameplay became less riveting and more ricocheting. I 36 stars Spiral Abyss on the first try again, which proves my point that rolling my face on my keyboard is a viable strategy. Now I don't use Twitter too often, but I wonder if there's anything going on Genshin related. Oh! In other news, I still haven't won one of these Twitter giveaways. Let me know if you have. Genshin has another web event where they're telling me to invite something I don't have. Here's definitive proof that nothing in Liyue can be trusted. Thanks to my guy Edwin and Tevat Tabloid for pointing this out, and now I can't unsee it. Moving on to Hoyo Lab. Also, don't really use this site, but what the f is this? What's next? He's happily married? Today I found out that C1 Chanyun gets an extra charge on her skill, just like Yolan does, which makes another compelling reason why. Here's an approximate map comparison between 2020 and now. Credits to Link the Pug on the official Genshin subreddit. But man, new players are eating good. They got the whole buffet. An American-sized portion meal. One KFC double down. My point is, I could go for a Big Mac right about now. I see the new name card is a bit popular. I now have Shan Yun and C3 Gaming, so now I too can get called out for bunny hop scripting. Diluke is meta again, just as depicted here. Here's a free 10 poll. Thanks. How's Twitter doing? Oh lord, everything's on fire. Genshin sure doesn't have PvP, but I'm seeing a lot of Ito cosplayers out here throwing hands. To be fair though, the memes on Zyox starting a Genshin Civil War are pretty damn funny. By the way, I just tuned into this and oh hey, they have Asmund Gold to mediate between Atsu and Tectone, and Mr. Pokey is streaming it, giving his two cents, and you know what? This entire debacle basically culminated into this. Motherfucker, where is it? Where the is it? I swear to- But I think we all just need to chill out a little more. Like this Hillichurl I found who doesn't seem to mind that I'm here. Yeah! Fun fact, at this point in my script it says it's still only February 3rd. Jesus Christ. I've just hit 1000 achievements and your reaction to that is holy hell that's a lot. Or wow, you're so behind Lamau XD. Yeah, I know, I'm a bit of a mind reader. Pretty cool, right? You can witness these two marrying for a chess. Credits to at Privinari for this one. Me trying to farm Clearwater Jades and going up to my friends being like, I am once again asking for your Clearwater Jade. Unhinged YouTuber Mujin finally found his wife in the new 4.4 update. Box has made a comprehensive drama chart which goes from this to this to this. The only thing I'm left wondering is why he's using a picture of my house as his profile picture. My long quest log is getting longer and longer. You see, I was going to progress through Fontaine's main story, but then Honkai Star L 2.0 dropped. Yet another bug that caused bow characters to be a little wonky, which means rejoice. Anyone having trouble hitting those damn slimes out of the air? It's actually not a skill issue unless you have Yolan. Hoyover sued a group of hackers who sold cheats for Genshin, which included things like zero cooldowns, unlimited stamina, teleportation, and invincibility. Cause, you know, we didn't have those things already. This last one though baffles me. Like, invincibility? We already have invincibility in Genshin and his name is Zongli. Braxophone and Atsu settled their differences after a peace talk which signaled the end to the civil war. 
another web event that you're probably seeing for the first time. It's PyCon showing that four Gamer. gamers is all it takes to destroy the world. I rolled this artifact recently, yes I know it's pretty good. While exploring Chen Yu Vale in a town I can't pronounce, I stumbled across an NPC whose dialogue options put me on an FBI watch list. Happy Lunar New Year, the Lanternite Festival is in full swing in which everyone is only slightly disappointed in these two's designs. Yeah, you tell him, Paimon. The Jonathan finally finds out that Ganyu is so thick that she choked a monster to death. Someone got the wrong Nahida. Wait, wait, it gets better. Why? That's not Nahida, that's Nawida. <laughs> a Paimon float was downed in Brazil, much to everyone's relief, much to everyone's horror. The comments are pretty funny though. What a massacre. Who did that? Tell me, I'll shoot them down. Revenge for Paimon. Murder by Pigeon. I think we know which little MF is behind this. Damn it, Timmy! And my favorite. Wow, I guess we'll have to explore the area ahead of us later. Atsu finally dropped his response to the allegations and drama in a document that's... 43 pages long, Jesus Christ. <laughs> this chest is the spawn of Satan. Sir Pouncelot, on the other hand, is a very good cat. Everyone and their mother is playing the Weathering Waves beta. A bug allows Janyun to infinitely read what I'm sure is the adequate length of the current up-to-date Genshin lore. Here's a cute little animation of the collab between Genshin and a conveyor belt sushi restaurant called Sushi Row, starring Kokomi and Goro. Wait. Isn't this like cannibalism for Kokomi? Oh, never mind. She ordered ice cream. We're safe, guys. We're safe. We're safe. OnePlus is releasing a special Genshin edition of their 12R, which is supposed to be inspired by Kaching's colors, and I'ma be honest, I'm not really too familiar with phones and specs and stuff, so I'm not really too interested in the. Here's a little cooking event. MSG! You forgot the MSG! Where you make food that's shinier than the bald man's head. More music! More food! That MSG. may or may not have MSG. More potentially useless features, and more lantern right gifts that may or may not have been a small part of the cause behind the clown fiesta about a month ago that everyone has now forgotten about because reasons. Don't worry though, I'm sure we'll get more compensation on February the 30th. Wait a minute. Welcome to March, where 4.5 has just been announced, and you know what that means. 300 Primo Gems, baby! That's what I'm talking about. Fun fact, no one ever gets these livestream codes because they expire after a total of 12 seconds. We've got Chiori, we've got a new character guide feature. Fun fact, most players aren't going to use it. I'll get more into that in a little bit. We've got a new wishing system. Say what? And we've got... So the new character guide feature is slated for 4.5, but I don't think Hoyoverse realizes that we already got character guides. It's called YouTube. It did inspire me to make this shitty meme though. No, not again. Bad tech tone. <laughs> Arlequino is now trending on Twitter. And now I gotta go back and make sure there wasn't anything demonetizing in that scroll. Ever wonder what depression looks like? Someone found out that you can change the text size in the Genshin chat, so obviously I had to try it out. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh god, what the hell is that? Today I learned Darman had a video sponsored by Genshin a few weeks ago. <clears throat> Average Genshin player moment. Which makes for the weirdest ad read I've ever had the displeasure of viewing. Props to you. There's also this new map called Laiue Nation. I take that back, I kinda wanna bully myself now. You're a nerd. Tao made a Genshin content creator smash or pass tier list. And while the date would've put this in February, I'm only putting it in March because, well, turns out it was a really good idea. This did, however, give me one of the best reactions I've seen within the Hoyo community. I mean, dude, like, as a man, when I hear a woman say that, I'ma say like how it is. When I hear a woman say that, bro. New Genshin event. 
What have yet to do? That's a historical reenactment which makes you go, you know I'm something of a European colonizer myself. Shiori's character teaser drops which means she's automatically slated to be trending on Twitter. The teaser in which she lives out every customer service worker's dream by telling the annoying customer to go f*** himself. Finally! Alright, Gourmet Supremos, your turn. Lo and behold, a couple days later I got the commission for the Samurai achievement, only to realize you need to complete it twice to get it. Note to self, next time pick left side, pick left, pick left, pick left, pick left. Wow, would you look at that? I've got over 70 million more now. Arlequino! Oh hey, Chiori's character demo. Oh boy, forgive me, father, for I have sinned! This angle makes Hu Tao running look funny, and I don't know why. Picking the left side, buddy, picking the left side, left side, buddy, yeah! The 4.5 update is here, which means, you guessed it, maintenance compensation! As well as yada yada yada. Today I found out that the new wish system is limited. From the wording here, though, it seems like it'll be kind of like a banner system. Ah, yes, the new training guide that people probably won't use. Wait, my Shenyun is only level 80? So as I was saying, this feature is perfect and I recommend everyone to use it. Chiori's doll expressions are pretty fun. I especially like this one. I've seen your browser history. Me trying to speedrun all the Gourmet Supremo's achievements, this time I got the commission for a meal for two. Please don't tell me I also have to do this one twice. No! Genshin and Discovery teamed up to make a short nature documentary, which was a very roundabout way of telling the players to touch some grass. The Honkai Star Rail 2.1 livestream just happened and people are tired of the Genshin could never joke. Genshin is having a collaboration with Breaking Bad and there's been an event going on where you can play as Walter White trying to get Mondstadt addicted to a new drug. So it's not a collab between Genshin and Breaking Bad? What are we trying to make? Illitropis? Lisa's Bathwater? Nitroglycerin for Klee? TLDR, Walter White plays Walmart Tetris to make sure he doesn't fail his potions class at Hogwarts. A Reddit user found the final boss of Genshin. It wasn't Paimon. You ever get the feeling that you're just misunderstood? I don't want to be like all the others from my tribe. But I don't I don't know what to do. I don't know, maybe, maybe it's just me. Maybe maybe I'm the problem. What do you think? WebMD says it's a skill issue. Chiori holds a fashion show. This game's too easy. Today I'll be showing you how to get the Don't Blame the Mora achievement. Now to get this achievement, all you have to do is complete a series of world quests to get the quest chain started. Complete the commission, the Gourmet Supremo's Breakthrough Thinking in a specific way that'll get you the achievement. Boom shakalaka, more boom shakalaka. Which unlocks the quest, the Gourmet Supremo's The Importance of Eating complete Well. Complete the commission, the Gourmet Supremo's Booty Quiz to get the achievement, a question of diet. Complete the commission, the Gourmet Supremo's Extreme Cookery twice to get the achievement, Samurai. Complete the commission, the Gourmet Supremo's Cook Off also twice to get the achievement, Meal for Two. Then complete the commission, the Gourmet Supremo's Where the Ingredients After Go. After which you unlock the Gourmet Supremo's Within Our Duties quest, which consists of 20 minutes a clicking mouse one. Congratulations! You now have brain damage. Congratulations! You are now a Gourmet Supremo. Paimon thinks it's time for a survey. I think not. Public transportation's really changed since the last time I took the bus, hasn't it? Yaimiko makes Timmy follow in his dad's footsteps. There's been a cool new event where time freezes if you don't move, which makes for some very cool shots. Raiden, I don't think that's how you hold that. Why, hello there, Traveler! I finally finished playing Hogwarts Legacy, I mean the potion event. Thank you for ending my suffering. Found the least thirstiest Genshin player. Bro is in heaven. Bro found the meaning of life. Bro found his culture. Bro cured his depression. Bro climbed the Tower of Babel. Bro. Bro found the Babel without L. Here's an animation made by a whole bunch of animators who use different styles, which is one of the coolest projects I've seen so far. Where's my balls? Where's my balls? I also finally did the main Chen Yu Veil quest, which ended in... No, no, no. I'm not gonna say it. It's just a nice scene depicting a shower of the golden variety. I hate myself. 